Morning everybody. Nice it's gonna be another beautiful day. Let's get up and walk these girls. Not too many clouds in the sky today. The sun's sort of starting to come up now. Great, great maize growing weather. Right. Get a couple of them cows. Got a double up there. Sad on this side today. We got two double ups. Looking good. A little heifer there. Loves her meal. Just clean up. You'll clean it all up. Mm -hmm. uh, a double up up here and a double up down the back. Successful milking. Dan's just gone down to lock the cows away, go check a couple of paddocks for tonight and for tomorrow. So um, we're going to go and go set up the mower on the back of the big Fergie because Dan's been told uh, any day now we could be coming to go do some more silage. So it's great, that's what we want. Those six paddocks will be done. It'll be interesting to see how well that goes considering it was actually halfway up my thigh yesterday. So. Be cool to see how much silage. So the vat's a bit down today. See, cross line is just halfway over that tag there, halfway above that little white tag. And um, usually it's been over that for the last uh, three or four days. The last week it's been over that mark. So we're down a little bit today. They did feel fuller, which is weird. Strange how that happens when your cows seem full. They aren't. They seem like they're milking out slower. It's weird like that. They milk it out slower, but they actually don't have as much milk. Then they milk out really fast one day, and they've got less milk. So oh, they've got more milk. It's weird how that happens, but that's how they do it sometimes. So let's go and put the uh, mower on the big Fergie. The mower all connected up. Put our two linkages on the bottom there. Then we put our pedio shaft in. Give her a grease first. Give her a nice grease up. And then we put top link on. Follow by our hydraulic hose, just like that. And we'll give these a quick grease up. These are the only two nipples on these, on this, uh, grease nipples on this mower here, so that's pretty easy. And then we'll, um, yeah, we'll get, wait for Dad, because Dad wants to sharpen these blades. They're actually looking quite a bit blunt at the moment. Ah, that's heavy. They're looking a little bit blunt at the moment. They'll need a good sharpen. All of them are there. Just to make sure. Yeah, that one's there. He's just facing the wrong way. <coughs> yep, all there. So we just wait now. Dad's on his way back. We can hear him coming. Sharp me too. Uh, I've run out of grease in my grease cartridge. I'll show you how to replace one. Leave them on there, unscrew them a bit just to release the pressure. Pull them out the back. Pull them out the back. Releases the pressure. You get some air comes through this, through that uh, thread there. Right, oh, back there. There we go. You can see there's a little hole in the bottom there on this side. That's where this slides up and down. There's a hole on that side, it's got a little indent where it clicks into. Now I can take this off. Nice and empty. Grab another one. So taking these off. Take your cap off first. Nice grease. Bottom off. That, those two together, easy chuck away. Always your uh, open side in, bottom side, grease goes out the top, top side. So there, now we put her on. 
go once twice just enough so it's still a bit loose but doesn't come off engage like that re-engage pushes there's a spring system here that pushes the grease up towards here now we give her a tighten that hopefully gets most of the air bubbles out from in the top here There we go, nice and tight. We give her a pump until the grease starts coming out. Grease is coming out now, but give her a few more. Wait, wait for it to start. Fart. And then you're away now. Beauty. Grease cast is replaced. We're going to go grease up the mower. We've just finished filling her up. Dad's just going to take these grabs off, disconnect the hydraulic hoses. Putting them somewhere they won't get crushed, and then he's going to pull that little lever eventually. Pull the lever. There we go. It's just going to give these blades a tickle up. So I'm going to need a bit of a sharpen. Oh, a tickle up. Yep. Sharpen them all. Might as well. It'll be nice and ready to do this last paddock. These last six packs. Well, there, there's some up your place, isn't there? Yeah, there's a couple up there as well. A bit of silage. He holds it with the pliers. And does his, uh, throws it over slightly. Like that. He's wearing a safety goggles. Okay. You can see Dad did these ones. Nice and sharp. Beginner level. But getting there, we'll get there. I got better by the end. Awesome, that's her nice and sharp. We'll go put her away till we need her. And uh, we're gonna shift this fence under the trees now. Looks like Dad's gonna straighten some of the blades. That's the one. Must have had a big stone. Get the blade up and bending it back down. Shift the little Fergie's bucket because he's selling it at the moment. Apparently, someone's going to come look at it soon. And so we don't run it over. Dirty. Are you happy with that? And also, lots of shade. I don't know if you can hear the cicadas over the birds today, but they're loud today. She's going to be a hot one. Very little clouds in the sky. Right, so we're up to next. Got a punkin mound there and a punkin mound here. Just checking up on them, start to flower. Happy with your punkins, Dad? Yeah, well, yeah. He's put them on the old clay that was here from when Dad did that old crap hole there. When they put that in, just put it on there and it seems it's taken off. I think that's us for today. I'll see you all when we ship the cows at 1.30. Midday everybody. So um, yeah we haven't actually done much today, just sorted out that uh, the mower on the tractor and now we're going to go get the girls in. I'm going to leave you here on this gate so that you can see how much the cows love going to get their uh, day break and getting some nice beautiful shade. Then I'm going to go down and set up the paddock for tonight and we're going to um, go and wash the vat. Okay. I'll see you in about half an hour, I think. Hey, 
There you guys. Hope you fellas were right. Didn't get run over by any cows. Oh, we're gonna go wash the vet now because uh, girls chipped it, locked away. So as you can see, those girls weren't really under those trees, piling under those trees today. It's a bit of a windy day. It's not too bad. It's not too hot, but they will graze that bit. And once they've finished grazing, they'll go and line up under those trees. So um, find out what we said now. And, Watch the vet. The cows are really down today, but it turns out they still sent only 50 litres down on yesterday. So 4,588 litres sent today. It's not too bad. Good. We are quite happy with that, actually. I thought they were down at least two or 300 litres, but awesome. Well, wow. I'm going to finish washing this vet. It's just the alkali and uh, hypo going through now. And I'll see you all at uh, milking tonight. Should be another hot one, but... We'll find out. This wind's blowing through quite nicely, so it might not be too hot. There you go. As you can see, the girls are happy there under their tree. Nice and shaded. Just got a few silly little heifers. Thinking it's starting to go milk already. They've got an hour and a half. Silly girls. Right, so he's all milking. Afternoon, everybody. So the girls are ready to get milked. It's not too hot, so they're not underneath the trees. I'm milking tonight, Dad's out there just washing the yard clearing the stones we're still getting quite a few stones coming through also a lot of grass from the paddock so dad washes that out picks it up before it goes into the stone trap so, so good we're getting the girls in oh he's going well the girls are milking really well it's great to see well we'll keep going probably catch us after milking get back to it Easy, sweat like a madman. No, not sweat, that's uh, just a bit of water. Cool them down a bit. Last row coming in. Come on, big one, seven five. Good girl. Should be one of the heaviest cows in the herd. Definitely got a good condition on her. He's getting up there now. No sign of any cobs yet. Well, that's us for tonight. We start up the irrigator, lock the cows away, we check the maize. Beauty. Stirring. Yeah, it's looking good. It's stirring up nicely. Well, it's us. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.